So the crypto market is slowly stabilizing and XRP is doing the exact same thing here. But the difference between XRP and most cryptos is that XRP did go a long way up. But can we continue to go up or are we going to make the reversal right now and steadily go down? That is the question and we're going to try and figure out the answer today. So smash the like button and subscribe for more crypto videos guys. Let's go. And check it out. So here we are on TradeView. We can see what's been happening for the last couple of days here to XRP. So mostly here we have been stabilizing to the sideways. We did hit this peak of $1.63, which is really, really interesting to see. Uh in my previous video, I did talk about this that we're probably gonna pump up a little, a little bit more. I did talk that we're gonna hit like $1.58. Uh, but we actually did, did go a little bit more higher, which is awesome. But in the end, we did make a correction. We didn't stabilize. So from this high to this low, let's say, it's about an 11% decrease. But to the lowest low, it's about 20% decrease. But still, pretty much we're okay. Uh, we're stabilizing this sideways because of a Bitcoin. Bitcoin did make a massive pullback. If you check this out. It tried to hit 100k, but we got rejected. We all thought, I thought we're gonna hit that 100k in just a couple of days, but we actually got reject rejected here. We got a massive pullback, but we actually did need this, like because our side was super high, super overbought here. Uh, we have been pumping for a pretty long time for Bitcoin. I think it was like a 40% increase. So a, a bit of a correction is what we actually need if we want to continue even more up. So seeing this is still all pretty normal and I do believe that we can still make the reversal and continue to go up right now. Uh, we got some people selling off a little bit of Bitcoin, but now it's trying to stabilize. So for XRP, a little bit of a different story because XRP didn't really move too much down. Like we are 10% down, but when you look at the whole market, it's a lot lower, but we are still making higher highs. Look at this. Look at this, we're still in the trend line. We're still trying to break through. We're still continuing here to go up, making higher highs, which is really, really good. But in the short term here, we are actually making another set of a triangle. So something like this, where we're, we're pretty close again to the end of this triangle. Cause look at this, we got rejected once, we, we got rejected twice, and this is the third time right now. There's a chance here we can break out pretty soon but we got to be patient for that. Like there is a chance here, but most of the time what happens here is the rule of fourths where we got the fourth one, the fourth th time we try to break through and then we're going to see what's going to happen. But again, there's a chance here that we can do it at the third time here and break through right now. That is a big, huge possibility that could happen pretty soon here. I'm pretty excited because most of the cryptos are going down, but we got a couple of them that are actually going up and trying to make that reversal. So next XRP is pretty much doing that thing right now. We are stabilizing here. We bounce off of this 50 here, which is really good. Uh, the blue line, we crossed the chart. Not that good, but still, we're, it's still pretty bullish. If you check out here, the XRP at the one day chart, a bit of a problem that we made here is that still the RSI is super overbought. That means the correction wasn't enough, but I still think at the four hour chart, we're doing a great job. Let's check out the one one hour chart. Yeah, at the one hour chart, we're pretty much okay this whole time. But at the four hour chart, looking a lot better than before. We're not super overbought like we were. We are stabilizing and this is actually everything on top, which is still again, pretty bullish, not bad at all. The RSI is pretty low. So if people want to invest, they can. Like it's a really good idea to invest. All depends if we can continue here to go up. There's a lot of fear right now in the market because people are just not sure if Bitcoin is going to break down lower. There, are, there's some graphs here showing that Bitcoin could get, could make a correction of like a twenty a twenty percent correction. That is possible, but we have to be patient. I think like we're gonna probably now go to the sideways a little bit, and then we'll try again here to hit. Uh, 100k for Bitcoin, but until then, if it does go to side, go sideways, there's a chance here that some cryptos can actually start to pump. The, we are still bearish because of everything that's happening to Bitcoin, but there is a bullish sentiment that could happen. The whole thing is, if we see another correction of Bitcoin, Bitcoin goes down by like, like let's say 5%, 
uh, that's going to happen here to Pepe and most of the cryptos, where most of the cryptos are going to go down. So how much do we go down from this new all-time high? If we measure from this high to where we are right now, it's about a 30% correction. It's a 30% decrease, which is a lot. When you check it out, it is pretty much a lot. But we're bouncing. We're still bounced off of this. Look at this. Safety right over here. Told you guys we have a ton of safety in this area because now this peak here is uh, the safe haven. This is where we bounce off. And exactly where it placed it, we bounced off. Super easy, not too complicated. But let's first check out if we are pretty bullish. Let's see the reversal, what could happen. Like what is the next price target if we actually continue here to go up? For this chart, if we do make a reversal, the target should be at 0 0.00031. So where we are right now to there, it's going to be approximately a 73 74% increase which is pretty nice but again what could happen is that if bitcoin breaks down then probably we're going to go back all the way here to these levels so this is the next area we have where we have a ton of safety so that's going to be a pullback of let me just measure this from here to here about 16 more yeah 17 to here it's about a 15 percent decrease from where we are right now so there's a chance that also something like this could happen but that's the bearish scenario all depends on, again, what's going to happen here to Bitcoin. Again, I do believe the Bitcoin right now is going to stabilize to the sideways, which is going to make an opportunity for altcoins to actually go up, which is really great. So that means we could be seeing XRP pretty soon break into the top side if Bitcoin starts to stabilize or if Bitcoin makes a massive reversal and goes back to, to 100K. That's going to be even probably better for the crypto market. But patience is key people are pretty afraid right now because of the massive massive correction because most cryptos were going down most cryptos did do the exact same pullback here and now people are just afraid to buy they're, they're afraid to invest into crypto they're, they're afraid to invest a lot of money into crypto but we're still stabilizing again so many bullish signs here are telling me that we should be able to continue to go up but again do be aware all depends on Bitcoin because if Bitcoin breaks below, you bet you we're going to have a massive correction here for most altcoins. That's exactly what's going to happen. A massive correction for most altcoins. And XRP won't be able to escape that because Bitcoin is dominating the market. So, uh, yeah, pretty much this is going to all happen pretty soon. This, this is a four hour chart, so we should be seeing some signs pretty soon. Maybe the next 24 hours to 48 hours, some massive moves happening either to the downside where we're going to have like a 15 to 20 percent correction or to the top side where we're going to have like a 25 to 30 percent increase. And I do believe that increase is waiting because XRP holders are not patient anymore. They want to buy more. People want to invest into XRP and the whole community is still pretty much bullish. But now we're just waiting for a good sign of the entry sign where we can just where the coin can just explode in the price. So, I look at the volume. Like people are hyped about XRP. Just look at the volume we're having right now. That's extreme amounts of volume. Look at before. Not even close to where we are right now. Some massive massive amounts of volume happening right now, and that's why I believe that XRP again should be able to go up and increase in price. But we're going to see what's going to happen in the next couple of days. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.